Good day everybody, welcome back to day 13 of Vlogmas. We're halfway through! I think, maybe that was yesterday. I made soup last night, as you saw. I slept so well last night, I went to bed well, like 1 a.m. I woke right up at 8.30. So that was a seven and a half hour sleep where I did not wake up, not even once. And when I woke up, there was no bug behind my head and that made my morning even better. Still a little confused about this coffee situation. Well, tomorrow we can start back up with the coffees. I, I got off because I think what, what happened was I prepared, oh my gosh, the sun is out. I look like Edward from Twilight. When I prepared for Vlogmas, I was doing it four days in advance. And now I'm only two days ahead. So tomorrow we're back to our normal, regular, regular programmed, regular scheduled programming. So we're going with the backup of pumpkin spice from before. <laughs> Sorry. How are you feeling leading up to the holidays? How are you feeling about starting a new year soon? That's something I haven't even thought about yet. Have you? Do you do new year's resolutions? Is that something we have to start thinking about right now? Bet you didn't see that coming. I keep you on your toes. We are not adding peppermint to this. It's surprising to me to hear that a lot of people around the world, it's just not a thing to add peppermint. But props to you, those of you who have bought peppermint to try it out. That's really cool. And um, so far I'm hearing okay reviews. The days are feeling a little repetitive. I feel that. I had somebody actually pretty politely reach out and be like, your videos are not like what they used to be. So that's a reason why I busted my butt to get two highly edited videos out in a row this weekend. So I was like, ugh, I don't want people to leave because the quality of my videos isn't what it used to be. But I feel like Vlogmas is just such a good opportunity to strengthen the community, deepen the community. Like my goal with Vlogmas is just to unite the people that are already here. Not necessarily to grow, you know. Shout out, shout out, shout out. I'm gonna highlight another three people today. First person I'm gonna highlight is Luca Sonato. The second person I'm gonna highlight or shout out is Michelle. And the third person I'm gonna highlight is Rachel2916. I love, love, love reading all of your comments. I love them. Your energy is so positive. Rachel, you send like bullet points on each, like comments on each part of the video and I just love reading that. Michelle, you have written some just like insanely thoughtful comments. I really appreciate the encouragement that you give me because of your comments, I feel really seen. Thank you for watching my videos and for leaving all those kind words. I really appreciate it. And I say the same thing to Luca Sonato. I'm looking at the comment you left. You also write just such thoughtful things. All three of you have top tier energy that is infectious. People see something that you write, it just spawns positivity from there. And I'm sure that that's the same way when you're around people in real life. Positive energy just has a ripple effect. And thank you for bringing that to my videos. I really appreciate it. Huge shout out to you, big hugs. Thank you for sticking around. My radiator is uh, singing its praises to you too. <laughs> So, what are we doing today? Gosh, the sun is so bright in here, I don't know what to do with myself. Okay, sorry if I'm blinding you. Um, okay, today we're getting out of the house. We're going to Fifth Avenue. We're gonna walk around. I could go for a nice Christmassy walk. I haven't taken you on a Christmassy walk in a while. I feel like we've been in here getting stuff done. And that's perfectly fine, but sometimes we need a break from that. There's a ton of lights and shops on Fifth Avenue, I'm looking, I'm just like looking up Google Maps right now. I'm not just like texting and <laughs> ignoring you. That would be so weird to do that in a vlog. Hopefully it won't be raining, but if it is, that might be better because there'll be less people out and I'll just bring an umbrella. And then there's the whole Saks Fifth Avenue, the whole Saks display. So we're definitely gonna do that. Anything else, everybody? Anything else anyone wanna say? <laughs> also, quick update on the tree, the Christmas tree. If you watched, one of, if you watched my apartment video with the couch, episode five of that series. I'm keeping the tree. A lot of you suggested that I remove the bottom part to, to make it a bit smaller. Maybe I'll be less overwhelmed. And honestly, I was just so overwhelmed in that in that moment because it just didn't fit. The, the couch took up so much space. It's a lot bigger than it seems. Granted, I really wanted a big couch. That's like the point of the room for me. 
but with the tree in there too, I was like <gasps> very claustrophobic. So that's what spawned me to move it, spawned me. <laughs> that's what prompted me to move it to the dining room. I think I'm gonna leave it in here and, um, but I might downsize it. So remove the bottom section. So that was a really good idea. Thank you for those suggestions. Thank you for all your suggestions also. Uh, a lot of you don't like where my couch currently is. <laughs> Um, it's, but you know, just because it is where it is right now, it doesn't mean I'm not going to rearrange it. I think this apartment has a lot of potential to be moved around in a bit. Like maybe that room will become my bedroom again. Maybe I'll move the, the couch out in this main room. But some of you want an explanation on that too, which I understand that the reason I put the couch in the little room was one, all the natural sunlight is there. And because my neighbors are loud, I can hear everything. I know I'm going to be on the couch most of the time when I'm in my apartment. So I wanted to be able to close the door. And I saw some recommendations for getting a velvet sound curtain, which I might do just for my front door. Cause then there's, there's glass on my front door too. So um, that will help with some of that privacy too. So thank you for your suggestions. I'm learning a lot. Stay patient with me. For all we know, by the time the apartment tour comes out, whenever that is, hopefully soon, um, like everything could be different. I don't know. So I'll keep you updated though, but that's it. Okay, I have to go get some work done. You have to do some meetings uh, or finish your coffee. But I'll see you in a bit. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I don't really feel like leaving the house, but I think it's for the best. I'm trying to remember the last time I like went on the subway. It's been a while. I leave my house every once in a while to like get groceries and come back, you know, stuff like that. Take out the garbage and <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> okay, just me saying that, I'm, let's go. Let's go see some Fifth Ave lights. Yeah, let's just go and enjoy. Let's just have a moment. <sighs> this is a, despite it being a very like merry time of year, I don't feel this year is very merry. I feel like we're all just anxious. <laughs> so let's be delusional for a second and go look at stuff that we can't afford in windows. Yay! Made it down. Also, um, I hear the comments about the sound. I didn't realize the sound on my GoPro was so bad. So I'm gonna be looking into getting a mic. Like... It is so decked out here. I've never actually walked to Fifth Avenue ever. What I'm gonna do is walk down one way and then back up the other side. Strong start. How are you supposed to know how to pronounce these things? I remember one time I called a a Lamborghini a Lamborghini, and then it just sounds like a pasta noodle. something really pretty on the building down there and I, don't, I think it's sex but I'm not sure it's gorgeous I think it's sex yeah
That low key filled me with hope. I wasn't expecting that. I did not even realize that I met the Rockefeller tree. I did not put two and two together. I feel so dumb because I did this last year. Like I went to the sax lights and then Rockefeller tree. And I just did. Would you believe me if I told you I've been here for seven years? Sometimes it's nice to discover New York like a tourist. So I'm never in this area unless it's Christmas. Good evening. Happy holidays and welcome to Dior's Carousel of Dreams at Saks Fifth Avenue. This is where Kelly Clarkson once stood. Tree is really something. Was really nice. Well, I'm feeling hot chocolate. Sometimes this is weird, but I do a combination of milk and water so I can save the milk. <laughs> I might do that this time. Just half milk. I don't know why I didn't put two and two together that the Rockefeller tree was right there. Uh, I would have told you that from the beginning of the day that we were gonna go to the Rockefeller tree, but I didn't even know. I totally forgot that it was that close. And seeing um, the sax display, legit, I felt like I was at a movie and wanted to cry. The music is what got me. Gosh, God, why do I need to stir so many things so often? <laughs> We're gonna go with a knife this time because I don't wanna do the dishes right now. I'm gonna save that for later. This feels like the perfect temperature. It's a little too cold, but it's comfortable. You know. <laughs> oh, don't you love it when you make the perfect cup of hot chocolate? It's just enough where it's creamy, but not too rich, so you can still drink it. Oh. I'm gonna cut this video off now and because I'm gonna see you tomorrow. And what are we gonna do tomorrow? I still don't know yet. What are we gonna do tomorrow? No idea. So it's gonna be a surprise for you. Oh my God. <laughs> Sorry. If you found this cozy at all, if you enjoyed hanging out with me for another day, Give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't already, consider subscribing and make sure to say hi in the comments. I'm giving you a list of things that you have to do. It's your end of video checklist. <laughs> Thanks for spending today with me. It was really fun. Um, I thought it was cozy. It was nice to get out a little bit and New York is so pretty. Yay! I will see you tomorrow. I love you. Have a good one. Mwah. Bye!